Man, guys, yeah, I make a quick update video. Not a whole lot going on, but uh, got 12 here. Um, yeah, here's my record boom. <clears throat> this goes in here, the front half goes in between here, and then this brings it up. And got a winch here, a boat winch. Right there, which winds goes up through there with two pulleys, goes down to there. Um, it probably worked just fine without this piece here, but uh, it works pretty damn good. I gotta paint it. Um, he cut off some uh, circle, circle bars there, They're around bar stock or whatever you want to call it and uh cut them the length to where it goes back here and then he uh oh threaded it so i could put a bolt into it and then he rounded it out down here to where i could put a wrench onto it and keep it there and then it's got the a uh, four bolt there for the three point hitch that holds this there and this here Turns about 90, 180 degrees, I guess you could say. So, um, it probably would turn full 360 degrees if uh, if that pulley wasn't there and he moved that back there. But it's okay. It's it should be more than enough to. The turn it so um it's uh <clears throat> just got a bolt down to here holding this bar on same with over here and up here these are all welded on there so works good but i need white on the front because see how far that sticks out so these uh, three rotors don't really do justice, so, but, uh, um, it does wheelies, or did wheelies until I put them rotors on there, and then it, uh, it still didn't grab a whole lot, but it was, it was doing better, um, but, what did I do? This broke completely off. But, uh, <laughs> when I lifted it earlier, it, uh, my, uh, main drag link broke off. As you can see, the one tire is kind of straight and that one's kind of cockeyed. Uh, they were completely straight. Here's my bungee cord. I gotta figure out where the main, main drag link went to. <laughs> oh well, I guess I'll find it. Around here somewhere. But uh, yeah, so it broke my main drag link to that tractor, so I'll have to uh, Figure something out. There it is. I knew it was around here somewhere. But yeah, it broke them off right there. So I think I'm gonna have to drill my two holes through it, and then just put some bolts through it and call good. But, um. <laughs> I got the 68 right there, got the grill, the hood there, all the other parts. <sighs> I got the motor right there, engine tin, uh, 
third generator is different because it came off of Massey, so they turned totally different. So I'm going to have to get a different third generator. i got a garden or mold board plow right there. So mold board plow is actually for sale. I'm not keeping it. I just got it to sell the put the money towards the, you know, the voltage regulators and key switch and all that jazz. So, um, I took the bolts. They were on the back plate. I oh, this 15 off there and used them. So, um, I got Spark. Okay, she's pretty much ready to go, but <clears throat> for some reason it's not allowing fuel not taking fuel from that tank so um i gotta take that off and just use my uh i don't even know where the heck it is at the current point in time but i gotta take one of them bad boys there and hang it up and see if it takes the gas from that again and if it takes it from that then i might have to get a fuel pump or or something to help it get uh, gas that way and then she should be running and driving hopefully but I don't know I kind of want to use this one with the uh, the uh, tow rig so this is actually the one I wanted to put the tow rig on but it ain't doing me no good not running so but um here's the exhaust pipe that I bought when I was doing my car but I got my car down to me <coughs> got my car done before this came in, so. so now I got all brand new exhaust pipe, and it's just sitting here. So I guess I'll uh, <coughs> use it probably spring or summer when I when it's nice out, and uh, I'll probably more than likely redo it. But. It being cold out, and I don't like to freeze around in the cold, so. But. Alrighty, guys. So, we're gonna do a quick update. 